This tutorial will look at the different results you get when you research your topic in Google and in one of Boise State's databases. While everyone appreciates the speed and transparency of search engines such as Google, you should be aware of and know how to use multiple search strategies. One valuable resource often overlooked by students is the databases of academic articles to which our library subscribes. In fact, our library spends a large percentage of its assets on these holdings, so they are a valuable resource for you. You'll have access to these databases only as long as you're a student, and you'll be able to use them in lots of classes. The virtual library is more time-consuming than Google, and if you're at home, you'll have to log in with your Bronco Web user ID and password. But if you increase the range of research strategies you use, you'll get not only more information, but also different kinds of information. To begin, open a browser window and go to the Google search page. Type the words bicycle commuting in the search box and then hit the search button. I get 630,000 hits. The first four hits all appear to be written and maintained by people interested in bicycle commuting. Take a minute to read Paul Dorn's page. You can see that this is clearly written and easy to read because the tone is very informal. Paul uses the same tone he'd use if he were talking to you. The page seems reliable because it's the first site that comes up in the search. It's also Paul Dorn's personal opinion, and it's hard to think of a reason why he'd try to mislead someone. This could be a great resource if you were writing a paper or preparing a presentation about bike commuting. But what if you needed other kinds of articles that weren't based on just personal opinion? For that, you might have better luck in an academic database. In the window that you have open, I'd like for you to navigate to the virtual library. First, go to the Boise State homepage. Once you're there, click on the library link that's over in the left-hand column. And once you make it to the library's homepage, click on this Articles and Databases link. Once you're there, click on Academic Search Premier. Some people call this the Walmart of databases because it has everything, and it's a good place to start your search. Let's start with a visual search. When you go into this database for your own research, you'll want to try basic and advanced searches, but this is just an introduction. So click on visual search, type in bicycle commuting, and hit the search button. The visual search in Academic Search Premier delivers 101 articles, which is a lot more manageable than the 630,000 that we got from Google, but you'll still want to refine your search. As I scroll through the articles here, I see that the um, first few results are from major newspapers and magazines. Already I've added to the kinds of information I've got about bike commuting. I've got Paul Dorn's personal opinion, and now I've got newspaper and magazine articles. If I scroll down a little bit further in my results here, I see an article from Urban Studies right here. I'm not familiar with this, so I'm guessing it's an academic journal of some kind. If I want to check, I can click on this entry here, and a brief summary appears on the right-hand side of the screen. Notice how different the tone is from Paul Dorn's website. This isn't a personal opinion, but a formal study. If you want to narrow your search results more, you can go back up to the top and click on these different search buttons. They'll show you different paths to different results. Now I've got three different kinds of sources, personal opinion, newspapers, and academic journals. It's not always true, but sometimes a paper is stronger if the writer relies on multiple sources. The information you find in the virtual library, combined with the information you got from your Google search, gives you a new perspective on your topic. You now have many different kinds of sources to look at. As a writer, you have a lot more authority because you demonstrate that you're able to use different kinds of information and to look for that information in different ways. Good luck as you look for sources to use for your own writing project.